Jesus Christ. I'm Sister Cecilia. And I'm Sister Gabriella. And you're watching live from Mumford Road. You might be wondering, I'm watching this on YouTube. This is not live. I was just thinking that, yeah. Well, you'd be wrong. Totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Because life in the monastery is timeless. So, this is the kingdom. This is eternity that we're participating in already. So, since you're watching this, you're participating in that too, mm -hmm. so... No, you don't even... no watches. We don't have watches here. Mm -mm. Well, I guess. Well, I have to get to prayer on time. That's okay. We'll let that... we'll let that slide. Uh, yeah, but so it's... it's live. Totally live. Yeah. Well, like any good video blog, we have to have sponsors. So our sponsors this month are St. Athanasius and Cuban Internet, where communication unites everyone. So, and you may... you may be wondering, well, who's Cuban? I'm going to turn over to Sister Cecilia. Well, we've been trying to start this video blog for a while, mm -hmm. um, but we haven't been able to because our internet's been too slow and we can upload videos. It would take days. Forever. Yeah. So now we're able to, thanks to our sponsor, Keyband Internet. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, what's awesome is our really fast internet connection. What's even awesomer is the giant antenna that's now on our garage. It's, it's at least th three Sister Cecilias, I'd say. It's pretty yeah. big. Um, but, you know, it's, it's definitely an upgrade from our, our previous system. What We had to wait for Sister Cecilia to go out uh, on the back porch and, and jumpstart the bike. So she'd pedal while we were... No, I'm just kidding. That's not really... Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> but we did actually, we had satellite internet, which was really slow. Yeah, the internet had to go to outer space and back. It was, yeah, really slow. It was a long time. Yeah. Well, first today, we you've probably noticed that we have this awesome Ask the Nuns box yeah. right here. I was just wondering about and, that. And um, since this is our first episode, we don't have any questions from our viewers yet. Well, maybe, well, maybe there's something left over. We should take a look. Awesome. Yeah, let's open it. Oh, wow, you're right. Yeah, is that a question in here? That looks like maybe from girls camp? Yeah, this was left in there from our girls camp this summer. We had the oh. girls ask us questions. That's great. Uh, well, well, this one's appropriate for this time of year. Do you miss shopping at the mall? Hmm. Do I miss shopping? Um, you know, sometimes a little bit, just, you know, going out, window shopping, things like that. Used to be kind of fun looking at shiny things. I like those. But uh not so much though. Yeah, you, you really get past it, especially this time of year when everybody's like running around like crazy, crazy, forgetting what Christmas is really about, which is not about shopping. So, yeah. How about you? No, I don't miss shopping at the mall either. Um, it used to be something that I enjoyed doing with my mom. It's kind of a mom time mm -hmm. thing to do. But um, it wasn't really something that that gave me life, um, that really fulfilled me in any way, so I don't miss it, and when, even when we go into town, even when we're just driving into Cleveland and we see all these billboards everywhere and just, mm -hmm. it's just like this image overload and just noise when you go in places and there's music playing and there's this going on and it yeah. just really, it makes me realize that um, how quiet and reflective the monastery is and how much that really helps me to focus on Christ and um, and really helps me to live out my vocation and not just be distracted and pulled in so many directions. So we need we need some questions for next month. Yeah, we do. So if you have a question you'd like to ask, anything, anything. Uh, you can even ask us what we wear to bed. We've gotten that question. Yeah, Check out our newsletter. Yeah. Um, we have a, a button on our website, ChristTheBridegroom.org, so click on the Ask the Nuns button and just fill out the real quick form, just submit your question, and we will choose one next month to answer live. Live. 
That would be great. Can't mm. wait. Could be you. Could be Could you. Be you. So send us something good. Mm. Well, Sister Gabriella, have you eaten anything tasty lately? Hmm. Well, uh, I've eaten some vegetables um, and hummus. Um, some really good bread, um, fruit, um, tofu. tofu. It's good this time of year. Yeah. That's good protein. No cheeseburgers? No cheeseburgers. Mm -mm. I know. Why? Yeah. Why? Why no cheeseburgers? Do you, do you know what we're doing this time of year? I kind of noticed a change in the menu a little bit. Could you explain that? I can't believe this is embarrassing. Uh, yeah, um, sure I can let you in on our little secret here at the monastery. Um, it's actually a fasting period right now for Christmas. It's, oh. Yeah, it's called the Philip's Fast or the, the Nativity Fast. Um, it starts after the Feast of St. Philip on November 14th. And um, so we've been doing it for a little over a month now. Um, and basically we fast from meat and dairy. Um, and as we get closer to Christmas, we fast from oil and from wine. And yeah, that's, that's what the change in menu is all about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, is, is this fasting time only for monastics? No, anyone can, absolutely. Not just for us. Um, monastics are, are, uh, are the steadfast example, but no, everyone, anyone can, everyone and anyone can awesome. participate. Well, since we're already a month into this fast, um, what about, what if our viewers haven't started fasting yet? You know, it's not too late. Just like Live from Mumford Road is participating in eternal timelessness, so is the fast. So you can start anytime. Um, you could start right now, after you, you turn off the blog. Um, and yeah, anyone can do that. Awesome. Well, what if someone is in a situation or might have a specific diet that they can't fast from meat or dairy products? Well, you know what? You're in luck. Because you can still fast from other things, like watching TV or um, going to the mall or doing any number of things that you enjoy, something, something good that you want to take a step back from, like we take a step back from food during this time, um, listening to music in the car, anything like that, um, just to give God a little room to prepare your heart for Christmas. Awesome, that sounds great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Sister Cecilia, is there, is there anything going on at the monastery that you could let us know about? I, yeah. Really? Actually, we have um, a couple upcoming events. Ooh, that's exciting. So, um, for any young adults ages 18 to 35, we have a Theophany Young Adult Weekend coming up January 4th through the 6th. Mm. The 6th of January is the Feast of the Theophany, which in the Eastern Church is the Feast of the Baptism of Our Lord. And Sister mm. Gabriella, that feast is just as big as Christmas. So yes! Good. And it's celebrated in a very similar way, liturgically and uh, traditionally. And we just really thought that this is such an awesome feast that we would like to have some young adults come and share in this celebration yeah. with us and really be able to experience this because there's not a lot of places that you can really experience all of the services that there are for this feast. So some of the highlights are um, on Saturday, January 5th, which is the vigil for the feast, we, um, we have the royal hours, mm -hmm. and... Does that mean we get to wear crowns? No. 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 no crowns? No crowns. It's just called royal hours because the emperor used to come into Hagia Sophia, and oh, um, okay. yeah, it was kind of a special event. But it also showed that even the emperor was was subject to Christ. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Um, so we have royal hours, and then in the afternoon we'll have great vespers, the liturgy of Saint Basil, the great blessing of water, which is traditional on the Feast of Theophany. Mm. And there's actually a tradition that takes place in many places throughout the world, which is the tradition of blessing the nearest body of water. On that Ooh, day. that's fun. So we have a pond behind the monastery, so this year we're going to bless our pond for the first time. So we thought that would be something fun. 
to share. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have the uh, traditional vigil supper, which is similar to the Holy Supper on Christmas Eve. Mm, tasty. And it's very good. Uh, then we'll have Great Compline at night, and then Matins and Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom on the actual feast. So um, it's a lot of prayer, but it's a really awesome experience. So any young adults are welcome to join us for part of the weekend or the whole weekend. Hmm. Um, but make sure you uh, check out the schedule and all the info on our website, ChristTheBridegroom.org, under the Upcoming Events tab. Mm -hmm. And RSVP by December 31st. That sounds great. I can't wait. Well, what about all of our... All of our teen viewers, is there any, are we doing anything for them? Actually, we do have an event coming up for teen girls. Yay! So you're in luck. We are again this year having our teen girls sleepover, which is the first weekend in February. And there's also yes. more information about that on our website. But make sure you hurry up and uh, sign up for that quickly because we only have room for 20 girls. Uh-oh. And just remember to keep going back to our website and mm -hmm. uh, keeping up to date on our events and uh, read our blog entries. Sometimes we have deep spiritual reflections. Sometimes silly, yeah. goofy pictures. Yeah, you just never know what you're going to get, so mm -hmm. you have to keep coming back. Totally. Well, you know, we have sponsor. I think I think it would be good to have a word from our sponsor. Do we have any? Do we have any words of wisdom from from our sponsor this month? Oh, well, here's, here's something oh, by Saint Athanasius. Huh. It's called "On the Incarnation," and there there's even an icon of the Nativity. That's great. Let's see if he can give us any wisdom here. For as when a figure painted on wood has been soiled by dirt from the outside. It is necessary for him whose figure it is to come again, so that the image can be renewed on the same material. Because of his portrait, even the material on which it is painted is not cast aside, but the portrait is reinscribed on it. In the same way, the All-Holy Son of the Father, being the image of the Father, came to our place to renew the human being made according to himself, and to find him as one lost through the forgiveness of sins, as he himself says in the Gospels, I came to seek and to save that which was lost. Mm. I think St. Athanasius is trying to say that um, even though through sin we have tarnished and corrupted our human nature, that um, because we are made in the image and likeness of God, that um, we were still, we're still worth our human our human nature, our human bodies, mm -hmm. are so worth um, redeeming, and so much to the point that um, God became man in the person of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to um, to come and to to renew our transform. Yeah, to transform our flesh. He didn't throw it out. He took, he took it on. That's really neat. Yeah, that's awesome. He sounds like good a good, Lord. good, good holy man. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, it's been a pleasure to share with you a little bit about the monastery, and we hope you'll tune in next time. Um, so keep your eye out for, for Live from Mumford Road. Sometime next month, maybe we'll even have a special guest. Ooh, I love special guests. Yeah. So have a blessed Christmas, and we'll see you again soon. All right. God, God bless. bless. We love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Like any good, um... <laughs>